What's up you guys, this is Jabberboy 2 Studios, and today I'm back with again with another video, and this time it is on my um, custom LEGO DC characters, so uh, please enjoy, and uh, yeah, let's get started off with our uh, first character, so here I have a custom minifigure of Bruce Wayne, um, I used a Star Wars minifigure head, uh, I used, uh, uh, I used, um, Star, um, some Star Wars hands uh, from like uh, a Star Wars character. I used a suit from the Monger Lego minifigure and uh, and uh, Jack 14's hair. So yeah, nothing really much of Bruce Wayne. Uh, I used this head because uh, it looks similar to the 2006 version of uh, Bruce Wayne. And uh, yeah. So, there's Bruce Wayne, and uh, let's move on to our next character. Um, here we have uh, Nightwing. Uh, Nightwing, I used uh, Robin's head, or Damian Wayne's he head. Um, the hair is uh, from a, not Cole, but a Lego Friends character. And uh, he's, got a, he's got a blue swimsuit on. Uh, I replaced it with blue arms and uh, with the black hands and everything. I tried to make it like the 2006 version. He's got a zipper on the back because it is the swimsuit suit. So yeah, um, and as you guys may know, Damian Wayne has two faces: one scared and one uh, angry. And yeah, that's it uh, for our Nightwing. And uh, let's get on to our next character. And our next character is apparently made with using markers and you know clay, and that is Two Face. So Two Face, I used um, a uh, minifigure collectibles head or Mr. Minifigure head, and and I um, used some clay on the hair to make it look like Two Face. Uh, I used Emmett's, uh, I used Emmett's, uh, uh, body, and I used a uh, black torso piece. I even painted one of the guns black, and I just left one. Uh, I didn't have any more, uh, orange arms, so I only gave him a red arm. Uh, he's got a black arm here. I turn him around. He's, um, the back is also half colored. And black and the others in orange and yeah, this um, pretty much a, a two two face and let's go on to our next character and our next character is not exactly from DC but I'm but I made him as like my own custom here's Dead Skull as you guys may know uh, I he um, is in uh, my Lego Batman Killer Clown film and uh he's got um a, like um that rockstar uh torso piece i mean not torso piece but a rockstar shirt uh he's got a place to black arms uh he's got a lego ninjago head with uh with a lipstick around it which makes him as if he works for the joker um uh, yeah so what i uh, mentioned about this character is that I've made it Joker's uh, son in uh, Lego in my Lego Batman films. So yeah, that's Death Skull, and let's move on to our next character. Our next character it may not look like him, but we got the Penguin. I used um, a head that had a similar mouth to the 2006 Penguin, except the glasses um, are not supposed to like stand out for the minifigure itself uh the penguin's only supposed to have an eyeglass he's got an umbrella he is um he has lloyd shirt he has uh purple legs so i gotta work on this penguin he's got the hat and yeah that's pretty much it for the minifigure and next we are moving on to a minifigure that also may not look like but 
Mad Hatter. So Mad Hatter, I used a Lego Ninjago mouth uh, mouth guard. Um, I mean not mouth guard. I used a Lego Ninjago a mask piece, like the bottom piece where it covers the mouth. And um, yeah, so and I used a uh, and I used this mini cylinder one by one Lego piece. I used Peter Pan's head. And I used a um, 2018 uh, minifigure collectibles pirate body or some somewhat. I uh, got him uh, dark brown legs, which matches with the dark brown hands. But yeah, this is a um, um, a Mad Hatter that I like to call, but without the uh, green and orange. So yeah, and he also holds a uh, gun. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the minifigure. And uh, let's move on. And for those people that are not new to this YouTube channel, please uh, like and subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, and don't forget to check out my gaming channel, Level Road 2 Gaming. And here, our next custom Lego minifigure from uh, DC or Batman is Hush. So, I use the head is apparently from a Lego Ninjago minifigure. Um, uh, he's wearing a Star Wars. Uh, uh, he's wearing a Star Wars uh, armor piece. Well, not armor piece, but like an armor vest, as you can see there. Um, I'm not sure where it was from because uh, I just uh, found it on the ground uh, someday and then I uh, picked it up and brought it home. But yeah, I um, I uh, fixed everything. He may have some shoe marks in it because, you know, of all the times he's been out there. Of all the times this uh, Lego uh, piece has been out there, and you know, that's pretty much it for Hush. Uh, he's got a Creo gun, not a Lego gun. Um, you guys have probably seen this type of gun in some of my films. So yeah, there's Hush, and on to our next character. So this character, uh, I can explain the head because obviously it is Rally Zal Ghouls head and this custom character is Rally's Al Ghoul but the head is from the actual like old Rally's Al Ghoul minifigure. So what I did was I found this on the floor at Walmart and like I and I'm like who knows how long that's been out out of the box and all that stuff. So I just took it with me. Uh this is an Anakin Skywalker Star Wars Clone Wars um um shirt or vest, uh, vest piece I replaced it with the uh, gray arms black hands um, yeah so um, nothing really much uh, I'm not sure if he's supposed I'm not sure if he's supposed to look like a vampire but what I can remember like I remember he looks similar to something like this his hair is apparently all gray which is not supposed to be which is Count Dooku's hair and apparently he has two faces an old man's face and just uh i guess the standard character face so yeah there's uh rally zagul and on to our next character it's pretty obvious he's been in lego batman killer he's been in my lego Ke batman killer clown film and that is a uh, brainiac um like i said like this um like the like the minifigure body i found it in a store just lying around so i just uh, took it with me. Uh, I used the head from a Monster Fighters monster. I replaced, uh, I got the, uh, green alien arms to match the head. It's got a nice, uh, alien gun with a, uh, purple stud piece on it. So, yeah, that's Brainiac. And... On to our next character, it's, pre it's pretty obvious, it's also in Lego Batman Killer Clown, which, I mean, my film Lego Batman Killer Clown, and it is Joker himself, um, the green is starting to, like, wear out on the hair, you, there used to be, like, a lot of green coloring, and now it's just all blonde, because this is, this is Luke, uh, the, uh, gold medal Luke, uh, hair, and, uh, this is from a Star Wars character, the body. Uh, the purple legs is from uh, one of the is from my uh, Joker that came with the uh, Joker Steamroller set. 
Uh, his face I custom made, and apparently the makeup uh, it, it gets covered when you put the hair on. Uh, I just uh, colored the head all white with a special uh, white out uh, marker, and yeah, that's pretty much uh, for this Joker. And uh, I also used the oh, I also used the guns uh, from uh, the green, the Red Hood that came in uh, one of the mini mystery, one of the mystery minifigure packs in for the uh, 2000. 17 Lego Batman movie. So that's him. And their next character is none other than the Riddler. So the Riddler, I used a, I used the Calculator Man's uh, head. Um, I don't know. I used it because it looks similar to the 2006 Riddler. Uh, I used a black hair piece. I colored the question mark symbol on him. Uh, he holds a staff with that doesn't look like a question mark, but I still like it. Uh, I replaced the um, I replaced the green torso with a purple torso from the Joker um, from the Joker that came in the uh, Joker Steam Roller set, and that's pretty much it. Um, so that's the ruler. Last character is not really a custom, but uh, it is Killer Croc. I, the only thing I really changed about this character is the legs. This is a Chima character without the legs and with its standard legs. Um, it may not seem like Killer Croc because of the other detailings, but without the detailings, he is kind of looks like Killer Croc. Um, yeah, even though he's got like a giant like hole in his mouth. So, yeah, that's Killer Croc, and that's basically all for the uh, custom DC minifigures. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more YouTube videos on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn on the notifications tell bell to tell you when I upload a new video, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Have a have a good day and goodbye.